when I was a kiddie, it was silver top and red top, and that was your lot. If you didn't like it, you didn't have it. During his 38 years as a milkman, Kevin's seen a lot of change. When I started the rounds, boy, the guy I worked with, Eric, he said, leave school, get a proper job. He says, there's five years left in this game. But he's still in the trade, thanks to one group in particular. Hello. There's young 20-somethings and 30-somethings, the hipster brigade. They're in very modern industries. But when you're in a very modern office, you also want to go back to having something a little bit traditional around. Morning. And a lot of them can remember from their youth in the 80s and 90s having milk delivered. For Kevin, there's no doubt that demand is up. The company he works for says that business has stabilised over the past five years and they're now delivering to up to 12,000 customers every day. But whilst nostalgia is one reason for the revival of home deliveries, the quality of milk is another issue on people's minds. Hey, how are you doing? How's your milk? Sean Young co-founded a company which produces and delivers high quality milk. We have a huge emphasis on like, traceability uh, when we work with coffee and we like to talk about where we buy our coffee from and all that kind of stuff, but with milk, it's sometimes overlooked in cafes, but it is such an important part of what we do with as an industry. Meanwhile, back in East London, Kevin's confident that his trade will survive. As they say, everything comes back into fashion eventually. If you hang around long enough, you become fashionable again. So I think we become fashionable again. Maybe tank tops and flares will come back in. Let's not push it. Celestina Olalode, BBC London News.